Hello, good people of YouTube. Mount Bat here. And today we're talking about the Tier 8 Tech Line British Battle Cruiser Hawk. I finally got around to playing the Hawk today after seeing her a couple times in game and playing with uh, some that have her already. And I gotta say, I think this is probably going to be the jewel of the British Battle Cruiser line. Now, I haven't played the St. Vincent yet. I'm sure that ship's going to be a blast. But when I say a ship is a jewel of a line, I mean it's the highlight of the tech line that normally isn't the Tier 10, because of course the Tier 10 is the pinnacle of that line's technology. But these are ships that are just a blast to play in the line. And I think the Hawk is it after playing the Duncan and several of the other uh, battle cruisers. Now, the Hawk is, you know, not a ship I was expecting to be the Tier 8 uh, tech line battle cruiser. I was really expecting maybe a modernized Admiral class, but they're probably saving that for the uh, the premium, which I also thought if we didn't get a, a modernized Admiral class at Tier 8, we would get a modernized Admiral class Tier 8 premium to be launched alongside the British battle cruiser uh, tech line, but we've got the Collinwood instead. But, you know, whatever, we I'm sure you got, you're saving that for a rainy day or whatever. But anyway, the Hawk. This ship has just such a good combination of characteristics alongside its guns that this ship is a blast to play at Tier 8. And not only is it a fun ship to play, but it's also a very, very good ship. It's a very powerful Tier 8 tech line ship. Uh... I wouldn't say it's overpowered, it's uh, survivability keeps most of its other features in check, but oh my god, if you can get on a flank where they're not paying a lot of attention to you, or you can surprise the enemy team, you are going to push their crap in. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Hawk, shall we? We'll start off with her armor. So she is a battle cruiser, so her bow and stern are all 25 millimeters, and of course she is a tier 8. Battle cruiser, so she gets a 25mm plating, which means that, of course, a lot of other tier 8 uh, battleships for 15 inch and above guns can overmatch you, but if you are a top tier, you know, 14 inch uh, won't be able to do that. Her middle deck is 32, and her sides are also 32. Her upper belt and her torpedo protection is 32 as well. And her citadel is exposed, it's high and dry, and it is very large. It is not one that is uh, easy for the enemy team to miss if you give them a flat broadside, but granted in the matches I've played with the Hawks so far, it seems as long as you stay angled enough, you'll get chunked pretty bad, but you won't eat dirt via your Citadel. That's probably helped by the Torpedo Protection that does give it a little bit of a spaced armor effect, which is the same type of effect you see with the French ships because of their... Uh, armor layout there's a lot of space in between their armor so you have kind of black hole armor here but you will get slapped if you do slip up and show the enemy team your flat broadside from my experiences but anyway moving on to the survivability she has quite a lot of hp for a tier 8 battleship 70,600 that's on the high end that that's touching some uh, getting very close to some tier 9 battleships hp levels now, granted, again, with the armor scheme, you are going to be eating big chunks here and there, even from Tier 7 ships that have larger guns. But yeah, 70,000, almost 71,000 HP. Again, that's a lot for a Tier 8 ship to have. Most Tier 8s are around 66, 67, some 68, but we're, again, up here in the 70s, almost 71,000 with the HP here. So, good marks there. 20% torpedo damage reduction. Again, nothing surprising there. Now, the guns. This is what surprised me, because I'm not sure if I misread the dev blog, or I just got the Rook and the Hawk mixed up, but I thought the Hawk had 15-inch guns. 9 15-inch guns at tier 8, which would be a pretty nice set of guns, but no, she has 16-inch guns. You get 9 16-inch guns on this tier 8 battleship. And they have a 31-second reload time. They traverse in 24 seconds, again, with the commander build that I have on. I'll throw that back up here. This is my commander module build that I've been running on the Hawk for the games I've played in her so far. Uh, she has a maximum dispersion of 192 meters. 192 meters. That's pretty darn good. Now, that is with the 
um, dispersion mod on. Without the, the dispersion mod, it is at 204 meters. Now, speaking about the ship's dispersion, um, this ship has 1.6 sigma, the same sigma that you get on the Duncan, the Tier 8. But with this low dispersion, that means that, yes, your shells might come out a bit wonky, but overall, they won't fly around too, too much on their way to the target. Now, I had some wonky sevels with the Hawk, but she seemed to be fairly consistent. More consistent than the Duncan, for sure. And with that maximum range of 18.8 kilometers, which is pretty decent for a Tier 8 uh, battlecruiser battleship, most Tier 8s top out around... 18.1 and some 19 so that's right in there it's definitely very very usable now her HE she doesn't get the improved HE pins of the uh, British battleships but she does get a pretty decent fire chance at a 45% fire chance at tier 8 which is pretty decent for a battleship she has 5950 maximum damage with her HE and 68 millimeters of HE pin these are the 406s not the 419s so she can't pin 70 but definitely at tier 8 that's enough to deal with what you gotta deal with at tier 8 um, 792 meters a second is how fast the HE comes out the tubes. AP does a maximum damage of 12,600, and those come out the tubes at 747 meters a second. And she does get the British Short Fuse AP, which is great against uh, light cruisers, or well, cruisers in general that slip up and show your broadside. It's also pretty good at dealing with battleships because you do get to chunk their extremities pretty well. And with the Hulk having 16 inch guns, that means that when she's top tier, there's quite a bit that she can overmatch. Most of the tier seven battleship, all the tier seven and below battleships she can overmatch. Um, and 16 inch guns still allow her to stay in, in the fight and have a formidable punch when she is up tier to tier nine and even to tier 10, but there's another characteristic here that allows the hawk to stay relevant at tier 10 and we're getting to that here in a moment uh, the, but the guns the guns are really solid on the ship um with the speed of maneuverability that the ship does have you are able to bring most of your guns to bear in most situations speaking about dealing damage she does get the hull mounted torpedoes she gets four torpedoes in her hull you can see them on the side here that's pretty neat looking so you get four of these 500, 500, 533mm uh, torpedoes. These torpedoes reload in 80 seconds, so that's really nice there. Now, they're not the thermonuclear warheads that the Duncan get, so they don't do 30k alpha, but they do, however, deliver 15,867 maximum damage per torpedo. You get two per side, so if you manage to land both of them, you're doing 30k alpha, over 30k alpha, in fact. Uh, their speed is 61 knots, and they're detectable by 1.3 kilometers away. You get pretty decent torpedo angles with these um, torpedoes. Hulk has, her, Hulk has hers mounted in the middle, rather than like the Duncan has hers further up. So you get pretty good torpedo angles, and again, anytime you can use these, it's the nice up your sleeve. But 8 kilometer range, that's more of, you know, reserve those for the drive-bys. and. You'll do well with them, especially against, you know, tier 8 ships doing 30k damage with two torps. That's, again, like we're talking about with the ship's HP, about half of a tier 8 battleship's HP if you manage to hit those in non-torpedo protected areas. She does get uh, three attacking flights of the airstrikes against, a against submarines. Her AA, she has her AA rating of 79 with the build that I have on her. Um, you know, it is a, a inner war battle cruiser. Well, actually, no, it's a 1943 design. My bad, I was thinking of the uh, the Rook. Um, 1943 design, AA is there. You do get DFAA, and when you're using that, you can, in most cases, make a Tier 8 uh, CV regret his decision. But again, that's only when DFAA, DFAA is going. Again, like, AA versus planes, That's a lot of that's up to how good the CV player is at dodging flag. Maneuverability, big highlight for the ship. Base top speed with the speed flag is 32 knots. You have a 910 meter turning circle radius and a rotor shift time of 16.1 seconds. And more on that maneuverability here in a second. But concealment on this ship is excellent if you build into it. If you take the module and the commander skill, you can have an 11.8 kilometer concealment range on this ship. And this, this is a pretty big ship. This is a fairly large tier 8 uh, battle cruiser. And you have an 11.8 kilometer concealment. 
which means if the CV is not going after you or in non-CV games, you can definitely use that and get close to your target. And then by the time you're spotted, you use your speed to close the distance, get in their face, use your 30k alpha uh, two torpedoes, and just make that ship suffer. Now, what, I, what, um, what else helps her is that, like I mentioned, she does have DFAA, but she also gets the engine boost. So she gets another 8% boost to her speed for 2 minutes when you pop this, which means that, again, if you wait for the right moment, when you surprise the enemy ship, pop this, get in their face, dump your two torps in them, do 30k torpedo alpha damage, and then sell off into the distance on top of having 16-inch guns. And she, she, of course, gets a heal. Now, she does not get the improved heal that the Duncan gets. You have to wait until you get to Tier 9 in the Battle Cruiser line to get that. But this heal does regen 508 hit points per second. It's active for 30.8 seconds with the build that I have. Reloads in 57 seconds. You get 5 charges of that with the Battleship Superintendent skill. And, of course, you get the Damage Con that runs for 16.5 seconds. So, you throw all of that together in the Hawk, and you have a very fast cruise, a uh, battle cruiser, with 16-inch guns, nine 16-inch guns at tier nine, with a 31-second base reload time. But granted, with the way that this ship does take damage, you will be around 26 seconds, probably by around the midpoint of the game, if you're getting in the middle of the action and such with the Hawk. So now you have a pretty nice reload time on 16-inch guns at tier eight. That can overmatch most of the ships you, you'll see if you're top tier. But also, too, if you aren't top tier, the Hawk's able to hang in there because you have that 11.8 kilometer concealment, which at that point, you can dictate the terms of your engagement. The Hawk's more than fast enough to outrun pretty much whatever's chasing it, at even at tier 10 with that engine boost going, unless you know you run to like a Georgia or like a Marceau or something like that. But most of the ships you'll see, she's definitely nimble enough and stealthy enough to choose when she does and doesn't want to fight so all that in a tier 8 tech line ship it's just such a surprise to me that uh the ship turned out to be this good this is, ship is a blast to play it's, it's fun running down flanks getting on the side of enemy ships or surprising uh the enemy with your presence again because it's kind of like the incomparable where you know you have this massive battle cruiser that's well, in the incomparable's case has a 10 kilometer detection range on it then suddenly suddenly you're in the enemy team's face same thing here at the hawk but at tier eight and again it's just such a good ship and with the short fuse ap unlike a lot of other tier eight battleships that have you know 16 inch guns you won't be overpinning cruisers as much you'll be in many cases if you catch their broadside outright deleting them and it's um such a nice break from the normal you know slew of overpins you get from large caliber ap shells at uh at mid and upper tier so it's a fantastic boat i'd highly recommend you guys grind her out when the line does um come out fully if i had to give the ship a rating i'd give the ship an 8 out of 10 the pros being her 16 inch guns at tier 8 that short fuse ap she still has decent he so when she does get up tier to tier 10 you do have the potency to just switch it over to your he and just you know burn stuff down again you don't have the improved pin but you still have 47 uh, 45 percent chance of causing a fire per shell with again nine guns that you'll probably be rocking like a 27 second uh, reload after a few hits from the enemy ships and of course you got the um the torpedoes the 15k alpha torpedoes with great torpedo angles uh, you do have to show a little bit more broadside than you do in something like the Duncan because her torpedo tubes are located further up again um hawks are right in the middle but it's n definitely not worse than any other battleship with um swivel mounted torpedoes right in the middle of the deck she's crazily maneuverable her armor is decent enough to where in, in tier 8 games at least you'll be able to you can't tank forever of course but if you're not an angle and stuff you can mitigate your damage and you have that large hp pool to fall back on and you still do have a heal it's not an improved heal but it's a it's a pretty decent heal there you get dfaa as well um, the only downsides of the ship are that it does have a 25mm bound stern, so you will be getting overmatched by, well, again, anything with 15 inch or above guns. And she is coated in 32mm below plating, which, again, does mean that you will be getting pinned consistently by HE, from definitely from tier 8 cruisers on up. Uh, the lower tier cruisers, 
if they're not running IFHE, you know, some of them might struggle to pin your midsection, but again, your bound stern are massive, and they are nothing but 25 millimeters there. But other than that, this is a, a, a fantastic ship, a blast to play. Wargaming did a good job on this one, and I think, again, many of you will love her once you grind her out when the line gets fully released. So guys, let me know what you guys think about the Hulk in the comments down below. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I'm on our way to 40,000 subs, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.